Right, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. With me is Skuro Metso. I think he's AFK at the moment, but he will be here very shortly. We've got the second round winners bracket. Uh, Rego with Lizardmen versus Yakuste with humans. And uh, hello. Hello. I think this is a great racial matchup for Lizards. Um, but Yak has got a very nicely built team. Uh, lots of people like Yak's team. Interesting. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. That's a, that's a rarity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got two tackle mighty blow blitzers, and he's got two guard stun firm blitzers, and he's got a block guard catcher and a block guard over. Now I would have rather had two block guard catchers, but um, he likes he likes but like you know it makes the ogre a force, doesn't it? Which is which is good. And uh, I'm not really a fan of Rego again. Like I don't really like stacking skills on the big guy. It's just not my bag. It's not not to say whether it's you know who can say whether it's right or wrong. <laughs> but these tackle mighty blow guys are obviously good skin hunters. So if what? if Rego uh, if yeah rolls like he did against uh, K Fog, it should slaughter him. <laughs> And and Jim, uh, we have the microphones. We have the power. We can say whether it's right or wrong. No, no, we can't. No, you're not allowed. To. <laughs> <laughs> we can do whatever we want, and all they can do is listen. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but I would rather. I mean, that could be two guard on on Saurus. Or whatever, actually, just guard on the crocs and an extra guard. Like, I don't mind guard on the crocs because he's strength five and he's hard to deal with, but I don't like using a double on him. But then, I guess you don't really have a good double, like, show sure hands or block on his game. It's not super exciting, is it? Oh, Tom Schniz. Tom Schniz, of course, a fellow Xbox coach. <laughs> 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 oh right, Regor, you played? Did you play Regor in, in qualifiers? Uh, there or in, was it just a game that we cast? No, that was the miserable it was, it was lizard. The yeah, that's ball, right. Yeah. Oh yeah. gosh, I forgot. I'd almost purged that from my memory. <laughs> yeah, I guess I knew the name from, there... from Rebel Clan. You know, that's or, or whatever. Yeah. That's not, he's going to do the GFI skin splits. Yeah. Yeah, because Red read it. They say Blitz of Skink and you will cast him. They lied. Now you've got your Strength 3 isolated on Strength 4. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh god, what's Yak doing? <laughs> He's gonna. He's gonna Skink Blitz. <laughs> He's gonna Skink Blitz. He's gonna no, he's not. He's him. not. He's not. He's just okay. going to three dice. Okay, well, that, that's really. I mean, that's the most valuable piece on the board. Or, excuse me, player on the board. So. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's Fair really enough. Good. And he gets him. Oh, he got his. He he got gets... his oh, man. Yak will be filing a lawsuit against, yeah. against Reddit. <laughs> As we speak. <laughs> Just kill hey, to be fair, to be fair, he didn't kill the skinks, so that one's on him. <laughs> That's true. He should have gone for the kills. <laughs> yeah, should have, should have, you know, not just knocked him down, should have broke armor. Yeah. Wait, what? Should, should have blitzed him with double mighty blow. You ran out of time there. Did he just run out of time? Break up. Mm. He might have, yeah, because he definitely had another... Oh, no, he didn't have another block to throw. No. Eh, maybe. Maybe he's just trying to play Red Rover with Yak, see if he'll get him to GFI Blitz another skink. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely huge kill. I mean, even if... I, so, you know, then three... And funnily enough, the, the third dice is what is what got the power, wasn't it? That would have been a Yeah. Um, so, you know. Oh, he gets the... Yeah, yeah, it seems. Oh, I didn't understand. The armor though. break there. Thick skull keeping him on the board. Whew. Huge. On the pitch. 
God, I don't know why I'm going so fucking tabletop -y right now. Pieces and boards. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Boards. Boards in Long Island. <laughs> 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 oh god. Long Island is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> War chest star shire. Yeah, that was brilliant. I love that I have the power to make EAB say anything I want now. <laughs> because Be Bezel, Bezel made a thing where I can just type a command to EAB and it spits back an MP3 for me. Yeah, that's amazing. It really is. It's been that, and it does it like instantly too. Wow. Does he uh, GFI blitz here? I think this could be a GFI tackle blitz on the catcher. Um. Yeah, that could be, couldn't it? And then that gives him the hit on there, mm. and then he can bring in his skin to assist that that two D two D. You can two D everyone down the line, cover with the other Saurus, get everyone over here. I think the GFI mm. tackle blitz was the play. He's not going to do. It. He could have. He could have made it a three D too. It was hard to make it a three D. I mean, he'd have to put a skink up there, but it wasn't, wasn't that hard. It was pretty hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, he just seven. Just blocks eight, down GFI. the line. GFI, GFI. Uh, okay. Oh, all oh, right here. Yeah, he could have just blocked right down the line. No. Cleared no, it. Cleared a space to no, blitz from. <laughs> He's got guard. The ogre's got guard, so that is that's a one D. That, the blitz has got guard. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I would have, yeah, I would have, yeah, I would have yeah, yeah. GFI blitz the catcher to then be able to blitz to, to block down the line. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't you think it's great? Yak's team in tournament is as if his qualification team just got some SPP and took guard on it. Done for first blitzers. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually pretty funny. <laughs> Like, if you're going to do that, he's got guard, he might as well have just done that 1D first, and then he would have had a 2D there. Well, there you go, no need to block down the line, just uh, just 1D power people. Keeping his skink safe. He should really tempt Yak into another GFI Blitz, I think. <laughs> Seems to be the best strat right now. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, Yak's got a, got a punch and a punch or two, maybe. But it's, it's so rough, isn't it, having Hatch 3 and Strength 3 against Lizards. He can't dodge well, and he just punches all you guys down and you feel bad. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of hate that. I mean, pretty much everyone against Lizards, like at least Dodge 4 you've got options and stuff. But every Bash team just gets out-bashed. <laughs> Yep. Humans are nothing if not a crappy dash team. But they're pretty good when they I run thought, when you cast Saurus. I thought coming in with Kemri that when I when I had Kemri in that lizard game against Fufle and I had a lot of guard, I was like, I, I like my chances. <laughs> um it seemed alright, but it didn't didn't go so well. Yeah, well you've got you've got Edge to move six guys. <laughs> Yeah, move yeah, five yeah. guys, and he's got or move four <laughs> guys, and he's got everyone six or move eight and can dodge wherever the fuck they want. Like it's insane, isn't it? The move eight skinks yeah. is is not to be underestimated. Absolutely. What's hilarious is that people are pretty hyped about black orcs in the new in the new tabletop, and they are literally lizard men with minus twenty two movement. 
and people still like think they'll be decent and playable and everything like could you even imagine considering taking two movement off like any other team in the game and, and playing a game with them it would be horrific yeah <laughs> and lizards you can literally take two movement off every player and think this is fine which is it's just bonkers isn't it that Absolutely. is like no other team is near that power level to be honest Big Kaz. Uh, he's been sacked, hasn't he? Tom Schnees. I don't know why you'd mention him. Are you a fan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Schnees gets that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist that one. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not worth repeating, to be honest, Tom Schnees. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it really wasn't. It wasn't. Two former fun. wrestlers who were very, very popular until enough of a light got shined on both of them that uh, no one wanted anything to deal with them. They got sacked by the WWE, <clears throat> vowed revenge, and then fa <laughs> faded away into <laughs> into nothingness. <laughs> hey, Jelly Hill, how you doing? Hello, Jelly Deals. They never be heard of you for they never before heard of you that this is maybe OP. Yeah, if they don't lose players they're OP, aren't they? But particularly the Saurus. If they don't lose all of their skills yep. or too many Saurus, they're OP. Or any Saurus, whatever. Yeah. Well the upside for Yak in this game is that he did win a game already, so when he goes into the losers bracket, <laughs> he'll be he'll still be a game up and be okay. <laughs> well. That's how that works. He's killed another skink here with his second blitz. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All of the guard is actually helping him, isn't it? And that, that one guy, like, you know, the, this, this one guy, uh, Saurus, what's he called? Mundi Paz. Him not having guard has been a bit of a pain in the ass because you know Yak is out guarding him at the at the point of attack, isn't he? You know, for all of the negative comments people make about watching dwarf games, that last game we just watched was engaging from start to finish. It was, yeah. And then the second we just have, and you know, you know, you don't see humans often, so it's like kind of nice to see a big tournament getting a team like humans in. Uh, and then uh, there's lizards, and we're just, you know, <laughs> kind of waiting, waiting, waiting for turn eight. We know how this is going to go. <laughs> Yak looking like he might have a shot at, uh, if something goes wrong this turn, could maybe split off his team a little bit here, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Yeah, I don't think uh, Red Goes going to go for the three dice again. Yeah. A bit unlucky not getting the knockdown there. If he got, if he'd got the knockdown, he could have, he could have based both. Oh no, he couldn't have done. He couldn't. He, he just, he just goes in. And you've got to base the tackle right. Kind of sucks to to get a to get a Saurus punched by a mighty blow, but obviously he just keeps the yeah. strength three locked down. If he doesn't, base but if he the, commits the play, if he commits the players to hit a basing Saurus with the tackle mighty blow guy, then. There's n nothing in front of him. Yeah, I hate I hate not tagging the mighty blow. I fucking yeah. hate that. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that one. Because, yeah, I mean, yes, your source could get mighty blowed, but there's only one player that can currently get there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, without without some three pluses. And if you're three plusing to hit the furthest back guy on the team, you're not putting up much of a defense against a move eight skink. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and the reroll instantly out on that one. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't got him though. Down, could he? No, no, certainly not. I mean, they just would have stood there, but he, you know, he doesn't want to keep them tied up like that. Yeah, yeah, like the board down result because he's got the guards where he'd come in and he'd two D, and it would be real bad for him.
Yeah, yeah, they got yeah, yeah. They're starting lost it. I know, right? Do you know what was funny, Jelly? Oh, I said, uh, I said on the red on the Blood Bowl three Discord, which is, you know, about as bad as Reddit. Um, I was like, someone was like, this is a massively nerfed, and I'm like, they've got a slightly worse. They've got you know they've got a slightly a slightly tricky start. They've got the one reroll. The one reroll start is slightly tricky. But obviously, once they get to redraft, they're, they're golden, aren't they? And he's like, two rerolls is slightly tricky. One reroll is unplayable. And it's like, what are you on? <laughs> what are Here you comes on? another dead skin. Yak Whoa. really racking him up. Three dead skins. Look at that. Brutal. Just like that. Rhaegar down to one skin for the rest of the game. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what they said. Yep. I mean, obviously, they're wrong. Like, okay, people can be wrong and stuff. But, you know, maybe you shouldn't laugh at them. But... Like, dude, if, if you if you can't if you think that two rerolls is super tricky as lizards, then I'm afraid I've got some bad news. <laughs> 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 On fire with the double double E references today. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's it's going to be tricky. Like one reroll is going to be tricky for sure. But I mean, this is I don't know if I don't know if he can find the way to two D <laughs> to two D the tackler, um, and then he can just run away and screen can't. Like that's the sick thing about lizards is that the movement here on, on the skins isn't it? Like it's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> Maybe he just blitzes with this guy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then he can get him up to there and do something with the other one. But like, if he blitzes with him, the push is good, but then he's still got tackle on the other skink, so maybe he just blitzes with this skink straight up. Because he can always block him away with the Saurus kind of. Not anymore, I hate doing that block for Oh, I guess he was blitzing. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine, I guess. If he knocked thousand, you can put up with him. It's a bit risque now, though. Oh, he's, he's, ooh, is he going for the 3D again? Oh, he's just going to block? Is he going to block him? I don't know what's happening. Sorry. I was rambling like a mad bastard, aren't I? That's all right. I was looking at the news. <laughs> God, I'm just rambling. I'm just... <laughs> No, I, I'm coming back. I'm coming back into form now. Sorry. The Lizards really have turned me out. I, I like, I had shut out the last tournament. Um, <laughs> you know, the last time we commentated on Blitzpit, I, I kind of shut it out from my mind. And seeing all these, you know, seeing this Lizard team again is just like completely triggering me right now. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, I don't want to sit through this shit again. We better not get Lizards next round. <laughs> hey, at least it's not a mirror. You know. Yeah, no, no. Again, that's like I said, like, you know, I was like, ooh, a human team played by Yak. This will be very entertaining. <laughs> no, it's a lizard team, and it's one of the culprit lizard teams that we already called <laughs> <laughs> that I hated. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this, though. Only two turns to score. Regor behind the line of scrimmage. No possible way for a skink to advance that far. <laughs> Oh, all right, here comes the fourth dead skink. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a, I mean, the feel. progress, progress. Yep. Incremental change, baby. And now, um, as proven by Ball Reddit, is based. <laughs> as proven by Reddit, uh, yeah, Regor will be unable to score as he now has zero Saurus left. <laughs> what an eat so easy to beat Lizard Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, just Mr. Chin and the mighty blow tackle for the ball. Oh, I wasn't really watching. I thought I saw one last turn too, actually. Oh, was this. Could this. This could have just punched him and then put him there. Yeah. One deed him and pushed him in. Oh god. I wasn't really watching, to be honest. I just grown so tired. <laughs> yep. Really lizard man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Regor here is going to have to put some uh, some yardage underneath the uh, the clawed feet of the skink here, uh, who is getting double based. So pretty much, he might as well concede. If he chooses not to, though, 
Um, it looks like uh, he might maybe be exposing his ball a little bit on his advance. He could it's be. only going to be only going to be some skinks to support. A smart move by Yak putting two players back as safeties. I like that quite a bit, actually. Yes, as do I. Oh, and there's there's a nice little basing. Yeah, Regger could throw this offense. He could actually throw this offense. He could. That helps a lot, though. Yeah, the pals, pals on the stand firm. Oh, that's costly. He really wanted the push to free up that Saurus. Yep. Maybe he just goes for the uh, dodge or block now. He could blitz with this. The block Saurus could blitz. The, yeah. the other Saurus can base. That's what he's going for, open. yep. Yeah. That seems like the best play. So he can have a couple Saurus down and Skinks on three pluses down. Oh, that's against Tackle, though. That's a little scary. Yeah. That's a three plus and he's got a reroll. I'm a little disappointed he hasn't put this other Skink that's wide left into scoring range. I think he wants Before to Before doing any of this. I think he wants to GF5 them at the end. Oh, that's uh -oh. Scar. Oh, he's just moved in the back. Okay. <laughs> um, apologies. Let me know if you need me to mute. <laughs> no, this is brilliant. <laughs> I'll turn it up then. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is the highlight. Hey, uh... A, a police car went by, and uh, they need to let him know that uh, all cops are bastards. <laughs> <laughs> you guys done? Yeah, you done? <laughs> I the, no. <laughs> um, I don't think it was worth making that a 2D because he could have he could have screamed, couldn't he? He could have just screamed and didn't. <laughs> Those are my dogs. They're they're sled dogs, so they howl and they howl when they hear ambulances and sirens mm. and uh, cop cars. <laughs> That's inc they're incredible. <laughs> Yeah, I really didn't like making that a 2D. Like, okay, you don't want to make a 1D, but you also don't want to just allow your opponent to 2-dice you with a reroll. <laughs> you know, like, you got to yep. be serious, haven't you? And he gets him. Could this be the time he kills a skink? Nope. No. <laughs> now, that skink is out of scoring range, so uh, there is only one score threat here for Regor. I no, really didn't like that turn from him. Like he had to one do the, the tackler, or just dodge from the tackler. Like he could have just dodged from the tackler, um, and then he could have, you know, if he'd done it without a reroll, he could have dodged the, the second skink potentially and stuff to steal seal things off. Yeah, the two skink dodges. I think you want you want to go somewhere where you can you can go for the first skink dodge, and if you still got the real, go for the second one. Now, this is, there is a skink. scatter on the ball here. Oh, mate, wait, no, there's not. not one. <laughs> um. No, he's got stand a... firm. Stand firm might be a bit of a saving grace here for Yak. Yeah, it's been it's been quite strong, hasn't it? Actually, stunned. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that would be standing. a big cast. He's just standing firm there. <laughs> <laughs> Apple fails. Apple huge. fails, and there it is. Guard stand firm out. You don't want to lose guard against lizards. No, and that's why it's horrible. Appleing miss next games, isn't it? Because it might fail, like you know, not obviously in Blitz Pit, it's uh, it's res, but it's why I hate Apple and just a miss next game character. Yeah, yeah. In in, in yeah, real I feel play. you. Right here we go. Get the scatter, and then hope to get it in no tackle zones. A one. There you go. Another cars. Wonderful. 
Oh, another <laughs> injury. Well, that might make up for not oh, scoring a little he bit. Have oh. if he... Oh. he should not have followed. Oh my gosh. Unfortunate, but he gets to hit the catcher with the skink now. Wow. I think the thing is, I think it's probably more likely that the ball scatters through the skink uh, than the, the source catching it. So I think I probably would have followed there. I think I would have not followed because yeah. the ball goes there. It's fine, isn't it? If the ball goes there, you, you go three plus dodge, four plus pick up, four plus handoff, score. Well, um, Yak with a, a freebie uh, to kill another skink and uh, it went about the same. <laughs> this is uh yeah, this is the most traditional lizard game I've ever seen. <laughs> Iron skinks and then four removals on Yak's uh on Yak's team. <laughs> <laughs> yes you do, KLZ. You always have to think about whether you should re roll, uh whether you should follow and get get the Randor six plus catch on a guy you already activated on turn sixteen. Yes. You should absolutely always expect the source to catch the fucking ball. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do, I do agree. I, I do agree with your what you're saying. I just feel like it's automatic to read. If, yeah. if the source is gonna catch the ball, it's got to be in that square. And if he's not in that square, it's in one tackle zone. So it, it's gonna make it hard. For, uh, I guess it's still better, yeah, but like yeah. <laughs> bouncing, it's more likely to bounce through the source and then go into a free square to make the score easier, I think, if he does follow through with it. Yeah, if it hits him, he's 1 in 6 to catch, and it's 1 in 4 for a better sky. Um, but then there's a chance it scatters back into two tackle zones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I'll a, also there's a chance I'll it goes, true. there's a 2 or 4 scatters. It's a chance it scatters yeah. to the catcher who catches there's, it then. There is way too much time. math to sort out what the right call is on that one. It's probably virtually impossible. I think it's definitely right to not fall. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're certainly not going to do it in one minute. Uh, I just don't think it's as automatic in that exact use case. But in general, yeah, always, always, because he could have. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to follow otherwise if you're if you're not strategically trying to bounce the ball to a better square. Yeah, like I, th I think it's just it, it's automatic to just follow up hits, isn't it? Almost like you know, like the, those kind of hits, you just follow them without habit. And he just probably yeah. didn't think, like especially in in, in minute long turns, it's not like a slight on him or anything. Thing. He probably just automatically was like, "Yep, follow," and then he was like, "Oh fuck, I could have just not followed." Like I've done it so many times as well, you know. Like I've just thought, "Oh, and, I should have not followed." And look at that! No one makes their KO rolls, but that it does not affect Regor. He's still got a full eleven, yep. and uh, Yak is very, very, very in trouble. Yeah, this, this is the one bad thing about Yak's team. He has only got eleven players. This is the one bad thing about yeah. the build. It's powerful, but it's brittle. Um, and then to have he's, made it, uh, yeah, this is brutal. Yeah, he's setting up for a quick score here. That's his only hope. Um, this is eerily similar to uh, the KFO game, but with very different teams mm -hmm. and very different team advantages. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. is just going to be a this is going to be a blitz into a short kick on the right, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> or yep. left? Excuse me. Yep. Um, if you fall, oh yeah, there's also the catcher. So the catcher. The catcher would, if it goes to the catcher, it, he catches it, what, 55%? And following up means he catches it 30%. So, that is also a factor, the, the catcher catching it. Oh, look at look where the ball went. Of course it went right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think it was just bad for blocking where his skink wanted to dodge to, you know? Like, that was the way to get it yeah. away from tackle, so I just didn't... I really didn't like the follow. I just think it was just an auto follow without thinking. You know, we all do that sort of thing, don't we? Yak with the old double ones, uh, choosing oh. to give Gregor the ball. Uh, he, and he snakes the pass, and that will be the game. Yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. be the game. Yeah, that's. that's Almost assuredly. <laughs> barring a miracle, we can all zone out and think about Battle Brothers and. Uh... <laughs> How come everybody takes recover? I, I, it doesn't seem to me to me to make too much of a difference. Not, not having it. I guess it's better than what else you can get. <laughs> yeah, there's pros and cons. Uh, do you not have any results this early? 
um, in. Yeah, we do. We've got we've got Rogor beating Yak. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well said. Well said. Uh, the loser of this game will be facing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the winner of the Dio off. <laughs> All right. So Yak uh, gonna have to go up against Necro or Undead uh, from one of the two Dios. That's great, by, by the way, by the way that it uh, most, most, most rerolls are used by lizards on pickups on a Saurus on the opponent's drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably true as well. <laughs> It's genuinely there's 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 probably a lot of truth to that. It would be interesting if like you know, obviously, obviously the stats won't be collated by anybody, but it'd be really cool to see the stats of like you know where rerolls are used for by which teams and what on and stuff. And I bet reroll like five plus pickups. I mean, like I don't know whatever like you know like the li the less agile players on your opponent's drives. I'm sure the re the record's got to be lizards, hasn't it? Especially when Rick plays, plays them. I was there the day Rick could have had a four and all lizard man team, but instead just just, just pointlessly threw them, going for Saurus handoffs. <laughs> it's it's kind of fair enough, isn't it? But I think you, I think, you know, I think you should only do them when you've got. Oh, there's there's a skink dead. Wouldn't have broken skink AV. Tackles on the catcher, so yeah, this is looking real bad for, real bad for Yak. Rego's just got to be sensible now, hasn't he? It's fifty-five percent for the pickup. Oh, yeah, bulls. Big fights with heavy armor tanks. Like, yeah, so to the big fights, they keep going. Like, I have had big fights where my guys have just been fucking knackered and I've just been skipping turn a lot. And I guess all those matches I would have just recovered and then been finishing people off. Uh, just for clarification's sake, you're talking about Battle Brothers, right? Oh, no, no. No, <laughs> no I'm talking okay, about. Uh I totally zoned out, and I heard you talking about battles and guys that get exhausted, and I was like, I don't think he's talking about Blood Bowl, but I really haven't been paying attention. So <laughs> oh no, I was just I talking. Really I was just talking about my sex life, about beating beating guys off. Uh, <laughs> and you know, oh, as, way, yeah. if it goes on for a long time, you can get really tired. <laughs> you know, I love a good beat off story. Jim. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Matto. Fuck yeah! I'm drinking scotch in uh, noon. <laughs> One for twelve forty-eight. Uh, Matto, I've never loved you as much as I love you right now, and I've never <laughs> loved you. I never will. <laughs> showed, it showed up just that just as we were talking about beating guys off. So, fair enough. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the thing. You know, Croc's better off not activating on that turn, maybe. It was only going to be a two dice. It, uh, I mean, he has completed the cage around it, so it doesn't really matter. But that's why I don't like putting block and guard on him. Like, it really is putting all of your eggs in. Wow, one basket, which has paid off for Yak in fine style. That's another skink dead. <laughs> oh, wow. How does he have all these skinks on his team? Regor really just, like, the 14 skink team, apparently. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh god, this is really horrible, isn't it? If fire away, kill Matronics.
They do die, yeah, exactly. But it, that, that's what I mean. That's why I'm, all I'm doing Lord is that. criticizing the uh, the Reddit tier advice of kill, just kill the skinks because you can't just kill them. You know, yes, you can target them. And you want to try and get your mighty bow guys, tackle guys to hit skinks, and all this kind of stuff. And you know, you want to control the tacklers and you want to protect your skinks and all this. But I just, I just kind of hate the gross oversimplification. If you just punch them, and they will die. Because yes, sometimes you know, sometimes your source will just get killed on turn one. Well, well, Kilmatronics, that's a roll. that is an that's an easy question to answer, Kilmatronics, because this exact moment in uh, in time and in history uh, involves me also watching a Lizard Man Blood Bowl two game. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with the goat, Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Magnus. Uh, we are on game two, round two of Blitz Pit right now. Our first game was a uh, very excellent to watch game, in my opinion, between uh, Colian XXXXXXXX. And Cave Fog, that was Dark Elves versus Dwarves. Cave Fog fell in overtime, uh, and now we are getting the exact opposite of that in terms of fun to watch. But yep. you know, two two coaches that play Blood Bowl and that um, you know bear mentioning playing their Blood Bowl teams. One of them has lizards and is about to win the game. <laughs> One of them does not have lizards and is about to lose the game. Yeah. That is about as simple an analysis as you were ever going to need, really. <laughs> Also, um, for as bad as Jim and I are feeling watching a game uh, of Lizards in Blitz Pit yet again, uh, we're probably doing better than uh, former President Donald Trump today. So, uh, yeah, well, you know, things are looking up. You know, I'm drinking at noon on a Saturday. What else could be, uh, what else could be wrong? It's not that we hate them, Kale Zeddy. It's just they're boring to watch. It's like the games are all exactly the same. Uh, and we are a little bit uh, biased because our last Blitz Pit experience was pretty much non-stop lizards, wasn't yeah, it? Every yeah, single we, got, we got th the, blitz, the Blitz Pit group stage on day one, we got three lizard men mirrors, and it just makes me never want to fucking see lizards ever again. Yep. <laughs> I, haven't played, I haven't personally played Blood Bowl since that weekend. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, coming back into this, I was all excited to get back into it, kind of get the new thing going. And then, oh no, it's just fucking, here's a lizard game. <laughs> some some cunt, Ardvac. Sorry, some country. <laughs> I, I got He's a cunt. He's an absolute cunt. The absolute cuntingest cunt that ever cunted. Right, thanks. You can thanks, you, you you can beep that out. You can beep that out, Jim. No, I can't. <laughs> 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 I'll beep it out for you. <laughs> yeah, live beep. We should have a live beep on here. Yeah, that'd be good. Um. Oh dear. No, ah, very good out back. Yeah, Pendo's doing the six hours of Monza, did you say? I'll I'll be doing after this match I'll probably be doing the twelve hours of Battle Brothers. <laughs> well not after this match, after the next match. After the Blitz Pit stream I'll probably be doing the twelve hours of Battle Brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Pendo together, glorious. Well good luck. I've I've seen that meme. Mark. So the the good news is there's only what one other lizard team in Blitz Pit. Yep. And uh, he's, he's currently facing Andy Davos High Elves, so we'll see what happens. But we could get, um, we could maybe get one of them into the losers bracket <laughs> to lower our chances of having to watch another lizard game. We'll see. <laughs> Are we going? Although with I guess them winning would lessen. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. But I guess lizards winning is better odds of us seeing less lizards because they play one less game today, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then more overall because... <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't want to look... Listen, that's for future Jim and future Skuro to have to deal with. And fuck those assholes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Davos won anyway by having Edge Fall. Which, which is oh, the I haven't thing, looked over that. It gives you a... It gives, like, that was the thing. That's why I didn't want to back through for there because I thought... Obviously, Davo can beat Dio. It's not like it's not crazy, is it, to win with High Elves? Like, it's a good skill package for High Elves. It's not, like normally you think High Elves they're shit, but actually, it's a pretty good skill package for them. And obviously, he knows how to play. So, um, 
that was the thing that stopped me backing Foo Fale to the hill because lizards are just stupid, aren't they? Like you know, and Foo Fale is a good coach, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, it does look like uh, Devo up two one has the ball on turn fifteen. That's pretty much got to be game. Well. I mean, there's a chance here, but I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I don't need to watch two Lizard games at once. No, no, <laughs> no. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Lizards are weird because they're just so, like, they're, they're fun to play while you're winning because, obviously, it's just a complete easy mode without a care in the world. So, like, that's kind of cool. But then, on the other hand, every time you win, you expect to win. <laughs> and then they're just badly designed because they're so overpowered, aren't they? But then also... Like, it feels horrible every time you lose, because you lose when every time somebody hits somebody, they fucking cast them. <laughs> like, that's how you lose with lizards, isn't it? And stuff, or, like, you know, generally. Because if you're competent, you should be able to play against elves, but... Super, not super elves, at high TV, the super elves get you, and at super high, super high TV, the claw gets you, so, like... They're just ridiculously overpowered at, at low TV, but still... Still a bit swingy when they get the rank. I guess if they get that unlucky, they, they lose, but still. What can you do to change? What can you change to fix lizards? Minus two movement of every player. Uh, fix skull on the skinks. Uh, grab and brawler on the saurus. And uh, plus one uh, agility. And then uh, replace the crooks go with the troll. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, just the exclamation point there. <laughs> <laughs> exclamation point play. Yep. <laughs> That's a fucking dead bastard. He can surf the tackler here for fun. No, he can't. Uh, I mean, I haven't a dev, but Claude does get you a high TV. Like, obviously, it doesn't always get you and stuff. Like, everyone can get nice and stuff. <laughs> and, yeah, that is, uh, I mean, it was, it's been over for a while, but uh, that is going to be it for Yak, barring several sixes. Yep. I mean, Claw gets pretty much everybody at high TV, doesn't it, you know? Claw gets everybody at high TV. <laughs> I mean, you can. You can air dev. <laughs> you can block him. <laughs> and then you can claw on him. And then cas him. Or he get hit by a rock. Or, you know, like, it's just stupid. Blood Bowl is inherently kind of a stupid game, isn't it? And the claw pom level of attrition at ITV is ridiculous. But just in, in individual games, of course, if the claw doesn't do work. Lizards are insane at high TV. But if the Claude does work, then uh, can they lose when they have like three players in the second half? <laughs> like, that's a much more consistent way to beat them than, than at low TV, <laughs> isn't it? You know? <laughs> like, the best way to beat Lizards is to remove them to three players <laughs> and reduce them to three players for the second half. Well, good luck doing that without Claude Pop. Although you still can. <laughs> Super competitive esports. <laughs> Out with the whimper on the 1D skull. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what he was getting out of that, but it doesn't really matter. Just, uh. Just prime. <laughs> Congratulations, Regor. Commiserations. Yak is stay, but again, double elimination. Yak is not out of the tournament just yet. He's just got a harder road to the finals, and that's going to do it for this one, Jim. Yeah, very impressive. Uh, congratulations to Rigo. He, he won the qualifier, didn't he? Uh, he won through, like, the uh, creep stage. So, congrats to him. Very good. Very good performance, and uh, he's doing well, but, you know, just lizards aren't the best to watch, are they? He's he's removing his he's removing his Xbox tag. <laughs> Commiserations to Yak, but again he gets a second chance. Thank you very much, Skuro. Um, thank you for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't play lizards and stay fantastic. <laughs>